Hey, how are we going guys? Mickey of Knockout Talk. Back with another supermarket chain review. Um, so, I've uh, gone up to the local liquor land to get myself some brandy to put into my next homemade batch of port. Uh, Mick up there at liquor land. So, yep, yeah, his name's Mick as well. Uh, top bloke. Um, he pushes a lot of their, their brands onto me. Um, and he does occasionally... Um, Throw some of their their, um, their their beers at me. So their local their, their, their latest offering is the um, is the Smithy Smithy's line of beers. Um, so I was given a couple of each variant, um, the draft and the and the bitter. So I'll talk about the bitter in a second, but we will review this one um, today. Uh, so. A full strength, full flavoured and 100% Australian made. Born from a legend, 4.4% ABV, 375 mil, mil can, 1.3 standard drinks. Uh, Smithy's Good Beer, brewed in Australia, made for footy lovers. Right, so I'll talk about the back of the can um, and that, that'll lead me into talking about the design on this other can, uh, which they're, they're pretty much quite similar designs. Um, with a label um, and, and the reverse uh, labeling as well. So, well, full, it's a pretty much a full can labeling. So yes, it's um, vegan friendly, yes, made for liquor land and other um, conglomerates and chains like that. So uh, places like uh, First Choice also um, get this beer. I'm 100% I'm, I'm sure if it's a liquor land thing. Um, so the reverse label, uh, well, the back label on this one. So what I'm, when I look at, look at this, I think, okay, so these guys are having a dig at trying to, uh, uh, got a designer, it's, it's pushing towards, uh, and for me, when I look at this, I see, uh, is it the, in the AFL, it's the cats that have that sort of uh, branding, uh, the, the blue lines and so forth, um, and a few emblems there. I think that's that's part of their, their overall design of the cans is to make, certain visual aspects of the of the packaging um quite similar to um uh, certain sports codes and 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 other things so for me that that sort of does scream that sort of element it also screams something like um colton draft that they're trying to have a dig out there um so we'll pull this one up um and um and we'll have a go at it so this is available in uh, mick tells me bottles and cans Got another customer that comes in, absolutely loves the stuff because of the price. I think Mick said it's under forty-five dollars. Is that forty-four ninety-nine? Is it? Is it uh, forty-four? Is it forty-four fifty? Oh, I don't know. I haven't one hundred percent sure. We did mention something about being um, around about ten dollars a, a six-pack as well. I'm going to pull this up into the Headmaster, a pub-style glass, and um, and we'll have a look at it from there. Um, it is. Oh, look, there's a mic behind that glass. Yeah, it is super clear. The clarity is there. Uh, good, good head, compact. Uh, carbonation's great. Uh, carbonation uh, elevation due to the the etching uh, nucleus reaction on the bottom of the headmaster glass uh, it does look good. The aroma is. Um, Not very advertising at all. It's nothing there that tells me that I'm going to enjoy this beer, um, but we'll find out in, in the taste. Uh, before I go into that, we'll talk, and I will review this other one as well. But is um, if you look at that can straight up here you know, for us who've uh, grown up on uh, an image like this, it tells me it tells me that um, this design is more aimed at. Um, something like a VB. So if you were to put that in the fridge side by side with a VB and you had a v hardcore VB drinker, would he occasionally just want to pick something up like this and give it a go? Uh, not 100% sure. But price point. Price point was $20 odd dollars for a six pack of, of VB um, and certainly what they'll charge because if you're in a certain area, you're in a in a, in a, um, a residential, uh, be it... Um, uh, the local liquor land, which is generally around a shopping centre um, uh, environment, um, 
these are the sorts of marketing devices that these guys are going to use to, to push their own product. Um, yes, I think, I think I think certain aspects of the way they design. So that to me also says something about um, um, it, it could be Souths in the NRL um, being the reverse scan label design. So it's it's a visual thing. It's it's colours. It's it's shapes. There's elements on packaging that um, that scream things like that. I could go on forever about even uh, a craft uh, breweries or uh, craft brewers um, designing their labels around certain aspect aspects of um, uh, of a bygone eras and and designs. Uh, from from the past, uh, like I said, I could rattle it off forever. Um, just put a design in front of me, and I could just go, "Oh, that reminds me of this. Reminds me of that." Automatically, you're drawn in. You, you're gonna you're gonna have a go at it. So um, anyway, let's let's taste this one. Let's uh, once again, no real sort of appetising um, elements that sort of draw me into this beer. Um, it's slightly floral. Doesn't remind me too much of my favourite German lager being the Henniger. That's also an imported beer uh, through Liquorland um, and has been one of my staples for a very long time. Um, the price point, um, the flavour, the aromas of that particular beer just it personally draw me in. So um, anyway, we're going for a little little taste. So I said it's floral, not a lot there, slight, slight breadiness. Comes across. It's got that sort of um, sort of bite to it that you get from crisp. The crispness of the the crispness of the beer. Um, pride of Ringwood, Super Pride, something like that. It's. Uh, I'm feeling this. It's it's where they're if they're going to a staple hop to to try and. Um, and keep it within the theme of selling the product uh, apart from the design and, and, and the aspects but trying to it's it's not to me I find with those particular beers where I've drunk them uh, when I was a lot younger um, to smell them now they're very offensive um, this is this is non offensive in the way it, it smells it's just not appetizing uh, it's nothing that sort of draws me in but when I taste it it's it's um, I can keep sipping away at it, so there's there's an element there that it'll keep me going. Um, now, yes, if you would, would I purchase it? No, I, I wouldn't go out and purchase it. Um, not in a case form anyway. Um, if it's just something I felt like, uh, quite possibly here and there might might just pick it up. Other than that, yes, with mates, shit talking, skylarking, anything like that, around a barbecue, eating. Sausage sandwiches, snack sandwiches, steak and onion sandwiches, talking shit. Um, it's probably one of those beers where the the environment around you is probably going to be more heightened by what you're actually drinking. So yeah, it, it just might travel well with people in that situation. For me, no, it doesn't. It doesn't give me that aroma, it doesn't draw me in, doesn't give me that, that element that I need to, to keep me going on or what saying, look, oh, this, yes, it's produced by a conglomerate, a, a big market, supermarket chain, and, uh, but it's got something really good going on there, and, and yes, for the price point, I'd, I'd keep going at it. Uh, for this, no. And that's all they wanted, for me to give an honest opinion uh, and a review. Um, Look, I'm gonna, yeah. You hand me a can, I drink it. That's that's all. Is that's all I'm gonna say is, um, yeah, it's not offensive uh, for for a drinker like me, for for someone who likes, uh, well, a, a, quite a large spread of um, of styles of beers. Uh, this this sort of sits on the border. This sits on the edge of where 
where I am and where I don't want to be. Uh, so um, it's it's a fringe beer for me. Um, it's there. It's not there. Um, I'm going to drink it if you hand it to me. Cheers.